एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन स्टेप वन टू प्रूव एस ऑफ वन इज ट्रू स्टेप टू एज्यूम दैट एस ऑफ के इज ट्रू फॉर के इज ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल टू वन स्टेप थ्री ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द अबव स्टेटमेंट्स प्रूव एस ऑफ के प्लस वन इज ट्रू ओके सो लेट सी अ प्रॉब्लम क्विकली सो इन शॉर्ट वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू प्रूव फॉर एस ऑफ वन वेदर वी हैव टू चेक इट वेदर द स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू फॉर एस ऑफ वन और नॉट देन वी हैव टू चेक इट वी हैव टू एज्यूम दैट इट इज ट्रू फॉर एस ऑफ के देन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट अबव वी हैव टू प्रूव इट फॉर एस ऑफ के प्लस वन दैट द होल स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू फॉर एस ऑफ के प्लस वन so let's quickly see a problem use mathematical induction to prove the statement okay so let's see the statement the statement is given as 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus so on till n cube is equals to n square into n plus 1 whole square divided by 4 for all n belongs to capital n now let s of n is equals to 1 cube Plus two cube plus three cube plus so on till n cube, which is equals to n square into n plus one whole square divided by four. Now we have to prove that this whole statement, this statement, it is true for n is equals to one. So in place of this statement, you have to keep n is equals to one. Okay. So if we keep n is equals to one, we'll get one cube. That is one cube is equals to one. One into one into one, three times multiplied. So which is equals to one. Then You have to check on with the RHS. So let's see what is RHS. N square into n plus one whole square divided by four. So in place of n, you keep keep one. Okay, you will be getting one square into one plus one whole square divided by four. Now what is one square? That is one into one, which is equals to one. Then what is one plus one whole square? That is two whole square divided by four. What is two square? That is two is multiplied two times. That is two into two divided by four, then which is equals to four divided by four, which is equals to one. Now we have proved that this statement is true for s of n is equals to one. Okay, so RHS and LHS, LHS and RHS, both you got the same. Now you have to assume that this statement is true for n is equals to k. K is greater than or equal to one. So let's assume that this statement one cube plus two cube plus three cube plus so on till k cube. Is equals to k square into k plus one whole square divided by four is true for n is equals to k. Now we got to prove this statement is true for n is equals to k plus one. Okay, so let's see. Again, consider LHS is equals to one cube plus two cube plus three cube plus so on till k cube plus k plus one whole cube. Now here we have to prove the statement for n is equals to k plus one. So our n term will be k plus one whole cube. Okay. Whereas here, here in this statement step two, our n term was k cube. Okay, it was till n is equals to k. Now here this is for n is equals to k plus one. Okay, so k plus one whole cube, which is equals to k square into k plus one whole square divided by four. Now how did we get this? We got this from the first equation okay so if we are assuming that this is true if we are assuming that this is true this that means that 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus so on till k cube is equals to k square into k plus 1 whole square divided by 4 that means we can replace this whole value with this that is what we are doing that is we are replacing this value with this so 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus so on till k cube we are replacing with With the k square into k plus one whole square divided by four plus k plus one whole cube. Okay, now you have to separate k plus one whole square from both the terms, and you can write it as common. That is k plus one whole square. If you check out what is the common term, that is k plus one whole square only. Okay, so you take it out k plus one whole square common over here. What will be left? You will be left with k square divided by four plus K plus one, yes, K plus one. Now, if you check out, just multiply. 
because it is 4 uh, just take the LCM and then you multiply you will be getting k square plus 4 into k plus 1 ok so this if it is let's suppose in the denominator you have 1 right so if you take the LCM you will be getting 4 over here and if you will be getting 4 you got to multiply uh, four, well, 4 with k plus 1 so you will be getting k square plus 4 into k plus 4 divide by 4 now you have k plus 1 whole square as common so k plus 1 whole square into now this what it is resembling it as a square plus 2 into a into b plus b square ok so a square that means a plus b whole square it is re resembling as ok so the formula is a plus b whole square so now if you see observe in place of k square it is a in place of a square it is k square ok so you just write here a plus b whole square that is in place of k in place of a you write k plus uh, here it is 2 whole square ok b, b square is 4 right that means b is equal to 2 so k plus 2 whole square divide by 4 then yeah now you have understood that you got k plus 2 whole square now k plus 1 this k plus 2 can be written as k plus 1 plus 1 whole square divide by 4 so now if you compare this with the RHS part of equation 1 so you can observe that in place of k it is k plus 1 whole square in place of k square it is k plus 1 whole square and in place of k plus 1 whole square it is k plus 2 whole square or it is k plus 1 plus 1 whole square divided by 4 ok so this is how you can say that this statement is true for n is equals to k plus 1 now therefore you can conclude that by the principle of mathematical induction s of n is true for n belongs to capital N so we have proved for n is equals to 1 and then uh, after that we assume for n is equals to k and after that we are proving for n is equals to k plus 1 thereby proving that this statement is true for all ok thank you for watching if you have any doubt please do comment in the comment section